Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today's video is going to be a very, very late spring favorites video. I know we're almost a month into, well, no, not quite. We're about halfway into the first month of summer and I'm just getting my spring favorites up, but I like honestly don't even know what took me so long. I I think I just like keep forget for like forgetting about it or putting it aside. I have no idea, but I'm sitting and I'm doing it now. So basically I do my favorites by season. I just feel like it's a little bit easier for me to gather things that I like over the course of a few months as, as opposed to over the course of just one month. Um, I'm not getting so many new things every month that I can really accumulate favorites. It's, it's better for me just to do it over the course of a season instead. So I had to kind of think back to spring and think about the products I really started loving this past spring. I was really tempted to pull products that I've been loving recently, but those are going to go into my summer favorites once we get to fall. So I had to kind of keep those at bay for a minute because I have a lot of things I'm loving this summer. Um, but I really wanted to focus this favorites video on things that I was loving in the spring. So let's jump into it. This video is going to be both beauty um, favorites as well as just a few quick lifestyle favorites as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go pretty quickly through these um, just because I know it gets a little bit boring to just sit and listen to someone talk. Um, so the first favorite I'm gonna talk about is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Cushion and I'm in the color W3 and essentially this is a foundation It's but it is like that cushion technology where you pounce a brush or a sponge into the cushion and then you apply it to your face. I used this foundation for my spring drugstore foundation routine, which I'll put up somewhere around here if you're interested in seeing this product in action. But it made my favorites because it's just a really, really nice luminous foundation that gives your skin, ton gives your skin tons of moisture. Um, and brightness and glowiness, but it still maintains a natural look and it's very buildable so you can go for more of like a sheer finish or more of a full coverage finish. So I just really liked it. I reached for it a lot, reached for it a lot. It was, you know, it's affordable and it's just a nice product for spring because it's just when you're getting into that nicer weather and you really want your, si your skin to start to like reflect the weather outside. So you want to just be feeling glowy and fresh and for that purpose, this foundation is great. Okay, the next product is by Hourglass. It is the Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. This is a bit of, I would say like a peachy based powder. I have um, Mood Light in the bigger pan, which I use all over my face, but I bought Dim Light in this like little container because I wanted to use it for underneath the eyes and I wasn't sure how it was going to be as a setting powder for my under eye concealer, but I really, really, really ended up liking it. It didn't settle a ton into fine lines and it just gave like the slightest brightening effect underneath the eyes. So I used it like every day to set my under eye concealer and it was just a nice break from the other stuff I was using and it's not quite as messy or high maintenance as using like a loose powder to set your under eye concealer. So for just day to day, like go to something quick, it's a great option to set your under eye concealer, but also to brighten that area. So speaking of under eye setting powder, I'm gonna quickly talk about the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Um, this I've mentioned before, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with, but currently I'm in the love phase. This is just really nice for setting your under eye concealer. And I only use it when I want when I'm like going out, like when I'm really doing my full face of makeup. I do not use it every day because anything that takes longer than like a minute or two to finagle, I'm not about it during the day. I can only really like handle it when I'm really trying to put, like be put together to go out. Um, so what you do is you basically just tap a little bit into the lid and then tap it underneath the eyes. I've used it in a ton of my makeup videos, so if you're interested to see how it looks in action, definitely go check out pretty much any makeup tutorial I've made in the past like three months. Um, I just, I used it a lot. I found that it wasn't settling into fine lines as much as as much as I felt like it was originally and it was just really helping to brighten that under eye area but also to make it look super like flawless and poreless and like airbrushed. Um, so I just found myself really rediscovering it and loving using it the second time around. I didn't love it at first, it stayed on my shelf for a long time, but I decided to pull it back out and ever since then I've been loving it. 
Um, what I will say about that powder is you definitely want to be wearing a very, very moisturizing under eye concealer if you have dry under eyes like I do. Um, you want to be wearing a really nice moisturizing eye cream and a moisturizing concealer because if not, it will dry you out a little bit under there. But other than that, it's an awesome product. Okay, so again, speaking of under eye, I love under eye stuff. This is the Magic Eye Rescue um, by Charlotte Tilbury. This is a pricey product, but it is worth it. It's another product that I didn't love at first. I you know, I tried it and it felt very like heavy and almost goopy under the eyes and I was like, oh, I'm not really a fan of this, something I would only use at night. But throughout the spring, I just found myself gravitating to it more and more. My skin was very dried out from the winter and I was putting this on in the morning underneath my eyes and I just found that it was really plumping the under eye area and giving it a very young, youthful and refreshed look. It was just pumping tons of moisture in into that area. So I started using it every single morning underneath my eyes and I found out that it is actually a really nice base for concealer. When I originally used it, I didn't feel like it I felt like it, you know, my concealer set very strange on top of this, but the more I used it, the more I got used to it, the more that I found it was actually quite a nice base for concealer. And I still use this every single morning, and I just think it's an awesome product. It's light enough to wear makeup over it, but it's moisturizing enough that you're really going to be super hydrated under there. Okay, so the next is a blush. It is the Becca Mineral Blush in Flower Child. I know these blushes have been super popular. Um, this is a kind of light pink peach color with sort of like gold flecks in it. Um, somewhat reminiscent of Orgasm by NARS, but I absolutely love this blush so much. I loved it throughout spring. I just loved how it infused light and shimmer into the cheeks, but it was very, very subtle, so it didn't look like a highlighter. It just looked like a very healthy glow, and the color is like really flattering um, to my skin tone. I imagine it is to a lot of other skin tones too. It's just a great go-to everyday blush for like a nice fresh natural look. Okay, so next is a mascara. I feel like I've talked about this mascara before. I actually did a one minute review on this mascara as well, but I feel like I've talked about it in other videos, how much I like it. Um, it's the Too Faced Better Than False Lashes Extreme, and this actually comes in a set. It comes with a white fiber mascara that you use in conjunction with this to get super, super like long, thick lashes. I did not use the fiber much, but I used this a ton, and it is amazing. I Honestly, the first go around, I didn't, I wasn't like in love with it, but the more I used it, you just get so much length from this mascara, and it adds those little tubes to the tips of your eyelashes, so when you go to wash off the mascara, you pull off the tubes, and all the mascara is gone, so you're not left with that like raccoon under eye thing going on, so it's super easy to remove, but it also gives you an amazing amount of length, which I love. Okay, the last beauty product, I believe, I think we might have like one more. Um, is the Tardis Lip Paint in Namaste. This is a beautiful neutral nude color with like a little bit of a pinky undertone, which I much prefer nudes with a pink undertone as opposed to nudes with a brown or orange undertone. I just think they look a lot better on me. Um, I loved this product throughout spring. I absolutely loved the formula. It's super, super comfortable on the lips. Very, very hydrating. Almost like um, a moussey texture. And what I found was if you apply it and then you blot it, like you blot with a paper towel, it lasts all night and it doesn't smear. Whereas you just put it on and you don't blot it, it smeared on me a lot. So I found that blotting process just sort of took off the extra pro product and left your lips with the color but without the issue of like smearing and stuff. So super, super comfortable comfortable formula, awesome color, and I just... Okay, so that is it for my beauty products. I'm going to quickly talk about two lifestyle products, and then I just want to mention a hair product, and then that's going to be it. My uh, camera is on its last legs of life, so hopefully I can get through these reviews, um, or these products without it dying on me. Um, so this is the Shakeology. I use this every morning during my work year. So basically September through June, I do shakes for breakfast because I like getting that boost of nutrition in the morning. It's got tons of like vitamins and nutrients in it and it's also filling and you can add really good stuff in there like chia seeds or different things that give you again that extra boost of nutrition that I might be lacking in my other meals. And I had been drinking the vanilla Shakeology. I've mentioned it in past favorites videos, but I recently tried the chocolate vegan and I just wanted to quickly mention it because it's very, very delicious. I really like this flavor. Um, 
I love mixing it with coconut milk and frozen cherries. It's just delicious. So I just wanted to quickly mention that because it was definitely one of my favorites in the spring. Um, the other lifestyle favorite I have is actually books. I'm big, big, big on audiobooks. I have a bit of a commute to my job in the morning and in the afternoon. So I love putting on audiobooks. They just get me in like kind of like a zen state of mind. I just focus on the story and I'm not thinking about the traffic. I'm not feeling anxious. I'm just like vibing out to the story and I'm just such a huge fan of audiobooks. So the ones I wanted to mention were um, the Strangers series by Jennifer Janes. I'm going to insert some pictures up in here. Um, and the books are ne Never Smile at Strangers, Ugly Young Thing, and Don't Say a Word. They're all by Jennifer Janes. I read or I listened to all three of them. They're kind of like a trilogy, but you can read them or listen to them in any order you want. Um, and I just loved them. I flew through the books. I read them all within like a month or two, which audiobooks are long, so that's, that's pretty fast. Um, they're just super addictive, super, I don't know, I, I kind of like dark, gritty stuff. I like stuff that makes you feel something. Um, I'm not big on like, you know, well, whatever. I just, I like books, I like murder mysteries, I like books with a bit of grit to them, um, and those definitely have that, and I just really, really liked them. So that was 100% a favorite of mine for the spring. Okay, so the last favorite for my spring favorites is actually a shampoo and conditioner. This is just the shampoo, but is it is the Purology Serious Color Hair Hydrate Shampoo. And I love, love, love the shampoo and conditioner. I could not go this favorites video without mentioning it because it's for color treated hair. And a lot of times when I've tried shampoos that are for color treated hair, they don't kind of like lather up. And I know that's because they are missing some of those ingredients that are less healthy for your hair so lathering isn't necessarily a good thing but i really really like this one because it is specifically for color treated hair but it lathers it lathers up enough so that you really can feel it like working into your hair like i really need some sort of lather for me to feel like my hair is clean and i know that's probably not necessarily a good thing but um this lathers up just enough that it kind of i don't know it's hard to explain but it just I just really really like it. I love the texture of it I love the texture of it I love the smell of it and I love the way it makes my hair feel the conditioner that goes with this is also amazing it's almost has like a menthol -y smell to it and it makes your scalp kind of like cool and tingly and you literally need like the teeniest amount and it goes super super far and it just leaves your hair feeling silky and smooth and soft so I am a big fan of this shampoo and conditioner I got it at Ulta that's it for my spring 2016 favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it. I hope you stick around and subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below. Thanks so much and see you soon. Bye.